Greeting, dear seekers of wisdom. As we gather at the crossroad of curiosity and knowledge, we embark on another journey into the profound depths of philosophical thought. Today, we traverse the enigmatic corridors of apophatic theology, a path that explores the divine through the lens of negation. As we delve into this realm, we navigate the paradoxical notion of understanding the ineffable through the absence of attributes, an approach that challenges our conventional perceptions of knowledge and comprehension. So, let us embark on this quest, a voyage through the opaque waters of negation to the shores of divine understanding. In the heart of this exploration, a compelling question arises. Can we truly know the divine through negation? Is it possible that in acknowledging the unknowable nature of God, we inch closer to comprehending His essence? Apophatic theology, or negative theology, posits an intriguing perspective. It suggests that God, in His infinite essence, transcends all human comprehension and representation. Any attribute we ascribe to God according to this school of thought is fundamentally insufficient to encapsulate His boundless nature. Therefore, the closest we can come to understanding the divine is by acknowledging what he is not, rather than asserting what he is. This philosophical approach does not seek to diminish the divine, but rather exalts it to a realm beyond human limitations. It emphasizes the inherent inadequacy of our language and concepts in capturing God's essence, thus leading us to a deeper reverence for the divine mystery. The premise of apophatic theology, therefore, is paradoxical. By embracing the unknowability of God, we find ourselves on a path that brings us closer to the divine reality. However, this pathway of negation is not free of challenges. It defies our instinctual quest for affirmation and certainty, urging us to explore the divine through the prism of uncertainty and mystery. Yet, it is within this paradox that apophatic theology finds its profound beauty and transformative power. The influence of apophatic theology can be traced back to notable figures such as Pseudo-Dionysus the Areopagite and Meister Eckhart. Pseudo-Dionysus advocated for a mystical approach to God, emphasizing that the divine is beyond all human knowledge and can be best approached through negation. Similarly, Meister Eckhart, a Christian mystic, echoed the same sentiment, asserting that God is beyond all concepts and categories that the human mind can conceive. This philosophical stance is not confined to Christianity alone. The Islamic philosopher and mystic Ibn Arabi, for instance, proposed similar ideas. He suggested that God's essence is unknowable, and that any attempt to capture it in human language would only limit it. This idea also resonates in the Hindu concept of neti neti, which means not this, not this, emphasizing the transcendence of the divine beyond human comprehension. Cultural expressions have often mirrored the essence of apophatic theology. In literature, the works of Rumi, a 13th century Persian poet, often hint at the transcendence of the divine, suggesting that language falls short in describing God's essence. Similarly, in film, movies like The Tree of Life subtly explore the notion of an ineffable God, evoking the profound mystery of the divine. Contemporary discussions around apophatic theology continue to challenge and expand our understanding of the divine. Some argue that this approach risks leading to a form of agnosticism, while others argue that it cultivates a deeper reverence for the divine mystery. These debates invite us to critically examine our own perceptions of God and encourage an open exploration of the divine. The relevance of apophatic theology lies in its transformative potential. It invites us to transcend the limitations of our language and concepts, urging us to embrace the mystery and transcendence of the divine. It also calls us to humble ourselves, acknowledging the inherent limitations of our human comprehension. As we reconnect with the broader theme of apophatic theology, we find ourselves in the midst of a paradox. The journey of knowing God through negation is a dance with the divine mystery, a dance that brings us closer to God even as it emphasizes His ineffability. And perhaps in this paradox lies the profound beauty of apophatic theology. To know God is to know that He is unknowable. Thank you, dear seekers of wisdom, 
for joining us on this intriguing exploration. Your engagement and intellectual participation are greatly appreciated. As we conclude our journey, I invite you to ponder, how does the idea of knowing God through negation resonate with your own understanding of the divine? How does this approach challenge or affirm your current perceptions of God? To all curious minds, until our next journey into the profound depths of philosophical thought, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep seeking. May the paradoxes of life lead you to deeper wisdom and understanding. Remember, the journey is the destination. Embrace the mystery, for in it lies the true essence of the divine. Until we meet again, stay curious, stay inspired, and continue to seek the wisdom that lies in the great unknown.